this is really an amazing story. But me, let me say, uh, let's have a disclaimer very early on. We take no responsibilities for the consequences of any wives trying this on their errant husbands, okay? On to the story. This very long-suffering typical Kenyan wife knew husband very well, and especially his promiscuity, yeah? Kulalalala inje na wanawake, yeah? Anything it cuts, even if another man wore a skirt, the man would express interest. That's how serious a dogger this man was. But she stayed in the marriage for the sake of her children. And she did this at great risk to her own life because as you all know these days, her husband's infidelity can lead to other very serious consequences like diseases that have no cure, okay? Admittedly, even a wife's infidelity can do the same, but uh, wives more or less tend to be faithful, okay? Well, the couple moved into this new neighborhood and as usual, the husband started playing his games. It did not matter that the focus of his attention was actually the married woman next door. Yeah? And this married woman next door, her husband used to travel a lot. He used to travel all the time. In fact, he was rarely at home. Yeah? But fortunately, this married woman next door struck a very close friendship with the wife of this, jo of this dog. Let's just call him Jogo. Yeah? This errant man called Jogo. So Jogo knew about the friendship. And that is why I was a little surprised when this woman suddenly started softening towards his advances. To the extent where she one day did the unbelievable, what he could not believe. She actually invited him for a night of passionate love making as long as he followed her instructions to the letter. I, you look raisi sana. But Jogo figured that, uh, you know, women nowadays are desperate, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and he's very handsome, he's very good looking, he's a lady killer, you know. <laughs> so he did not think much that uh, it had been so easy. Well, he had tried for a while, but then she just suddenly softened and uh, again gear box so suddenly. Should have made him suspicious, but he was not. So the day of this hot date came. And uh, the time could not come soon enough. Of course, Jogo was in very high spirits the whole day. He was just whistling, whistling. You know, thinking how great this day was. And his mind and his heart and everything was in the planned activities of that night. He thought to himself that of all his conquests, this one had to be the most, most major. And he was very pleased with himself, with himself and his good looks and his conquering ways. Yeah? Yet this woman couldn't resist him because she was prepared to risk her friendship with Jogo's wife. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That really turned Jogo on. He felt that he was the man. As he waited for the appointed time, he decided to while away the hours at the local pub. Yeah? Because his instructions were very clear, he must arrive at a, at a certain time exactly. Not a minute later, not a minute earlier. He was supposed to come in after midnight, when chances of the woman's husband showing up unexpectedly were virtually nil. Yani he never came home from his safaris after midnight. Yeah? He had also been told not to switch on any lights. Yeah, because you never know which nosy neighbor would spot him and tell his wife. And Jogo understood that very well. Because these people were right neighbors right next to each other. He kept himself busy with his favorite drink, Tasca. And of course, as usually, flattered with a huge, huge uh, pot bellied barmaid. Yeah, who giggled whenever he uh, touched her in the wrong places. Many people said that pub would never survive without her because she was the attraction at that pub. Many people are just used to the place because of her. Anyway, that is a story for another day. Finally, he glanced at his watch and he saw it was about five minutes to midnight. It would take him exactly three minutes to walk and reach the place of this hot date, this date of the century. He had time, but still he left the bar almost running. He passed his own house and noted that all the lights were off. That was good. His wife was already gone. His wife was already asleep, fast asleep. So the coast was clear. That was very good. He went into his neighbor's house, went through the back door, and as instructed, sure enough, he found the key hidden under the mat. He opened the back door and let himself in. He carefully locked the door behind him and tiptoed upstairs into his neighbor's bedroom. He knew exactly where it was because the houses were all the same. Yeah, you know those houses where every house is exactly the same design, yeah? And your neighbors, yeah, you get my idea. So you even have a very good idea what estate this might have been. The woman was waiting for him. The first thing that hit him as he entered the bedroom was her perfume. Very feminine. He 
it also smelt like wild flowers what followed was a night of wild love making with the neighbor's wife it was just exhausting it was so nice he fell into an exhausted sleep and by the time he woke up the sun was already shining through the still drawn curtains events of the night came flooding back and he turned around with a wide smile to face his neighbor's wife with the thought of at least being intimate at least one last time instead he got the shock of his life lying there right next to him eyes open and looking straight at him was can you guess his own wife what had happened here what had happened why was his wife next to kosh and uh, where was the woman he had made love to the whole night what was going on here well let me explain apparently the two wives had decided to teach him a lesson and to carry out an experiment that proved that what psychologists have always been telling us is correct that sex is really in the mind they'd switch places and your goes own wife had worn her best friend's nightdress and used a perfume and waited eagerly for her own errant husband lying on the bed of her best friend the neighbor's bed yeah now when the man came it was dark he had had a few drinks of course he did not recognize her in the dark room and amazingly during the entire long night of love making he never recognized her now i am assured this is a true story and i am told the man never ever ever thought of cheating again well you can choose to believe this tale or not you can choose uh, whatever you'd like but personally i believe this tale because there's some stories which are just too crazy to be a lie this is chris kumkuja till next time